It was, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not here to argue. I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want you to be trying to shit test me to figure out whether or not I'm loyal or not in those shit. My loyalty is never to be questioned. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm the man in the relationship. I gave you access to this relationship. Why the fuck you testing me? You don't own access to this relationship. You own access to sex and reproduction. You did what I'm saying? What is with that? What, what, why, why the testing? Oh, I needed you to pass this test. Anytime that's ever happened to me, I usually walk away from that. A lot of that is based on insecurity, bro. It's all on like, it's all insecurity and stuff like that. People, men shit test, women shit test. A lot of men shit test women to find out whether or not his time is being wasted. Mm -hmm. Women should test men to find out whether or not he loyal. loyal. He's loyal. Because or his temperance. Are, how far can I push him? Yeah. No, that, that's 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 different though. Because her her shit test for temperance is usually about whether or not he's really a man. You see what I'm saying? If a woman can push you to an emotional state, then that's a control power dynamic exchange. You see what I'm saying? So she's looking at it like, well, if he gives up his power to me, then he's not really a man. So she'll shit test you just to see how much of a man you really are. Not gonna get that one. Man. That's why, like a lot of times, guys don't guys don't they don't they're not aware of it. I see this go back to the conversation we were having about uh that's my phone, bro. My bad. A lot of guys are like a lot a lot of guys who grew up in households who don't have men around, who don't have a lot of male role models, who don't have father figures, big brothers, uncles, whatever they tend to fall for those shit tests in a way where they, they fall flat on their face because they don't have the, they don't have the wherewithal to say, you know what? I'm not even, we're not doing this. I'm not going to argue with you. You know what I'm saying? My word is the first and last word. I'm the man in this relationship. I'm the head of this. You know what I'm saying? You follow my lead. The Bible say, you know what I'm saying? It's God, it's the man, and then it's the woman, and then it's the children. You see what I'm saying? I'm not submitting to her. She's supposed to submit to me. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's that becomes that becomes a conflict of interest when it comes to people who feel like they who, they can't they can't they can't juxtapose those positions. Six, that's an old logic, man. They'll tell you that you're <laughs> discriminating now. That's fine exactly. though. Exactly. But that's fine though. But at the same time, you can't have it both ways. You see what I'm saying? There are no I can't think of too many scenarios where it play out. Awesome. I don't know too many guys who follow their woman's lead and she controls everything and he takes and the no, It does. I've never seen that I've work. I've never though, seen it. Bro. Any situation I've seen like no. that, the guy's usually a simp. I've the never, only, seen, I've never the, seen success from it. The only thing that I've seen where it works to speak to what you just said is when you have like, say, and we've encountered these women before, but I've had the opportunity to like date women like this or be close friends with women like this and see both sides of the coin. So when they have this alpha type personality in the workforce and they kind of have that type of air, the way that they life is successful on both ends, personal and professional, is when they get home, they know how to take the side the back seat a little bit to the man that they went to it not a back seat but just be like yo they know how to I come down to be in a feminine role yeah. and you in the masculine role and then home i know my role but out there i'm still gonna have to beast on these fools because i dated girls like that to where i yeah the first time i've seen it, i was just like oh wow you really get the 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 tight rope that <laughs> it is yeah and, and for us too because when we in uh, the workplace, you have to be less aggressive in certain uh, situations that you would normally be I'm more in. aggressive because you know that it's going to be perceived in a workplace environment you know what, as a man. So it you know what that's called, ways. though? Do you know what that's called? Hmm. That's called code switching. That's called conditional femininity. Men don't have that. We can't. Look, I'm going to ask you this. A woman can turn her femininity on and off. She can go from masculine to feminine. But that's not natural. That's learned behavior, right? The reason why but, I say that is this. The reason why I say that is this. All right, imagine this. You go into a relationship with a chick and you tell her, uh, I'm only going to be masculine for the right woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's yeah, not no. going to work. No. I mean, if think, they, about, they, think about this. Think about it, though. Women, that's women don't say, I'll be, submissive, no, no, I'll be submissive and feminine for the right man. Women say that all the time, bro. If you ask a woman, and again, Tony's out the game, you know what I'm saying? But if you enter, if you if you go enter a, a situation with a female 
and y'all just talking, y'all really getting to know each other. And you started noticing certain things about her character and her behavior. Like she's being aggressive with you. She's been, again, I, I'll use my son as an example. And I'll just touch on it briefly. When she shit tested him, she went into her masculine. You see what I'm saying? She has no, she has no need to turn that off now because she knows that she gets the response and reaction she wants from him, from this, from this, these actions moving forward. Is it right? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not. Uh, it's not traditional, and we we live in modern times, so traditionalism isn't necessarily, you know, what I'm saying widely accepted anymore. But when you talk about uh, code switching, you don't code switching only gets you so far. I don't code switch at work. I'm me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like I I speak proper English. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. I need them to see me as I am so I can get the full respect I deserve. I don't want I don't want the I don't want the code switched will or the code switched six to get a certain amount of respect that the other will doesn't receive from the same people. I need them to see me as I am. Women don't necessarily they 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 feel like they're, they need to put on their interpretation of what they see respect in men. You know what I'm saying? They want to get that, that they see. And they, they, they've traditionally taught each other from one generation to the next that this is the way you succeed in this world. It's this just a slippery goes. slope when it comes to a workplace because, like, it's you, you have to have, a, like, everybody evenly have to have a certain level of, like, non-emotionalness and just a professionalism so it's like in that world they gotta move in a less feminine way because part of being feminine is having more of an emotional response to certain things that's the only reason why i said that when you go home it's going to be a different energy and it should be that because it can't work you being the way that you are in a workplace environment at home, that's not gonna work. And the same for a guy. The same for a guy because even though you say like the coach, like you can't be the pure masculine the way you are with your homies at work. You can't be that. You no. know what I'm saying? Like that's what I mean. Like you gotta tone certain shit down. 